Good morning, and thank you for joining me. I'm the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Gaver, and um, this is a storytelling time. So today's story, a children's story, is not the typical one. I do not have a stuffed animal uh, to share the story with you. Rather, it's ba a story based on one of Jesus' parables, Matthew 13, verses 24 to 30. So i uh, going to start with the, the PowerPoint presentation. So just give me a moment and I'll be back with the story. So the story today is called, What Happened? I'm going to start with these beautiful pictures of uh, some gardens that I found on the web. And they, they're just stunning. You know, the, the flowers are grouped by size and color and they really are just beautiful. And I wish I could do something like that, but not a gardener. So this is part of my garden in the front yard. It's, you've got two different hosta plants and uh, some purple flowers there. But on the side, most of my garden doesn't look like this though. Most of my garden looks like that. Something obviously happened here. What do you think? It's a mess. You know, you've got some flowers there that look like they're supposed to be there, maybe. And then there's some green things. And then there's lots of like grass, maybe zebra grass. And it's just a mess. You know, during the pandemic, I was pretty careful. You're supposed to stay home. I stayed home more or less. But I stayed inside. I never thought about going outside and doing gardening. And then when I did go outside, this is what I found. Ouch. Ouch. What am I supposed to do? It's a mess. Now you might be saying, okay, just get in there and do some weeding. There's a problem. I'm not a gardener. I can't always tell the difference between weeds and plants. I probably can make sure I don't pull up the snapdragons, but will I get the grass? Will I get some of the plants that might be growing that maybe I like? I really don't know what I'm doing. And that brings us to the Bible story. Once upon a time, there was a farmer and he planted a field full of wheat. And this is what he thought he would get at the end of the harvest. Beautiful field of nothing but wheat. And it'd be great stuff and he could cut it down and bring it into the barn and, and turn it into some fantastic food and breads and pastries and just, it'll be a really, really good thing. But something happened along the way and someone planted weeds. Now his workers, if the field was too big for him to do all by himself, his workers said, look, we're, we're good gardeners. We can go in and pull the weeds out. And he said, but sometimes when they're very young plants, the weeds and the wheat look very much the same. Are you really sure that you can tell the difference? And they said, maybe not. And he said, look, let both plants grow. When it comes time to harvest, we'll be able to separate the weeds from the wheat. We'll pick up the weeds and we'll throw them into the furnace and burn them. We'll pick up the wheat and we'll bring it in to the house and turn something good into it. And that was the end of the story. You're probably wondering, okay, um, something good. Okay. Okay, and what are we supposed to do with this? I'm like, okay, if I were a gardener and, and you were telling me this, I'd still end up with a messy garden. 
um, but I sort of understand it. What is Jesus talking about? Well, let me stop the share, come back, and I'll tell you. What is the message that Jesus is trying to tell us? Let me just get my stuff. Sure. Some question, a question you might be wondering or asking, a lot of people do ask it, is why do bad things happen in the world? Why are there bad things? Why are there bad people? Why doesn't God do something about it? And you might say, look, it'd be so simple. We know what good people are. Let's pick up all the bad ones and throw them out. Get rid of them right now. And Jesus is saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not that simple. And there's a couple of reasons. One, we're not God. We can't always tell who a bad person is or who is a good person doing bad things. Stop and think about it. Are you a good person? Chances are you're saying, yep. Yeah. I'm good. Oh yeah, I'm good. That means you've never done anything bad. No. Um, um, well, maybe you have done something bad. So are you a good person or a bad person? A good person who did something bad, a bad person. Mm. Now the question gets really confusing. And Jesus basically says, look, you're not God. You can't decide who's good and who's bad. Only God can do that. So wait, one day there will be judgment. One day, you know, God, God will be able to say, you're a good person, you can come to heaven. You're a bad person, sorry. You had a chance, you had lots of chances. And that's the other thing. And just to tell you a little story, so here's my stuffed animal, except he's not stuffed. Sometimes people do things that we think are bad and they turn out to be good in the long run. And I'm going to change the camera here. There, you go. can you see my dog, Peanut? He's not very happy today. From his perspective, yesterday, Cheryl did a very bad thing. Cheryl took him to the dentist, the dog dentist, and he had 15 teeth removed. Very bad day. So today, so last night, he was quite angry with me. He wa walked in front of me, walked back, sat down with his back to me refused to look at me. He was mad. I had done a very bad thing. But of course, turns out he's going to have no infection in his mouth. He's going to, his mouth is going to taste better. His, he'll have a, or maybe a harder time eating some foods, but he'll be better in the long run because he'll be healthier. So maybe he will understand. But for right now, he's just a little mad at me. And that sort of part of the story is we don't always know what's good and what's bad. We don't always know who's good and who's bad. And so God's basically telling us, or Jesus is telling us, don't worry. One day there will be judgment and all the bad things and all the bad people will be thrown out. But until then, don't you judge because you're not God and you can't always tell the difference between good and bad. Just remember, one day there will be only good things and only good people in heaven. So when you look at a wonderful garden, you'll say, Someday heaven's going to be like that. And when you see a messy garden, 
you can say, yep, need some work, but maybe I can do weeding here in the garden, but I can't do weeding here in the world because I don't know who's weed and who's a good plant. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving us a glimpse of heaven, for showing us the beauty and goodness that we'll find there. Thank you also for making it easy for us to understand why bad things happen and why bad people do live. Help us to remember that it's not always easy for us to tell the difference between good and bad. You know that we're not always good, that sometimes we do bad things, but we're not bad people. God, help us to be good. Help us to be the best we can be. And thank you that you're giving us all this time for us to grow, to learn, to become the best we can be. Thank you also for promising that one day there will be judgment and one day everything will be set right. Help us to be patient. Thanks, God. Amen. I want to do something different today. I'm going to close with a song and then come back. So just a minute and I'm going to put on this song. Here we go.
I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you for joining me. Uh, it's Reverend Dr. Cheryl Caver saying good night or goodbye. Have a blessed day and have a blessed rest of the week. Bye-bye. See you next week.